First, your reaction to what just happened uh, today with the UK announcing uh, suspending extradition and also uh, no longer sending or suspending sales of that equipment uh, to the region. Well, I think the Foreign Secretary made that uh, decision very promptly. Two weeks ago, I issued an open letter urging this country to end the extradition treaty to Hong Kong because under the national security law, Hong Kong does not enjoy rule of law. And there are several countries committed to it. And um, I'm glad that today uh, the foreign secretary announced that um, policy change. And I think in the long term future, there will be more and more assertive policy from the UK government to China and Hong Kong. Let me just ask you, I know you're a very young man, I think you're 27 years old, and you know we've just been talking about the great democracy activist, John Lewis, who put his life on the line uh, for all those years. You guys have done something similar in Hong Kong for several you know, seasons now in terms of democracy protests. You've been met, met by heavily militarized police. There's been a lot of scuffling. How do you put your battle for freedom and human rights in, I guess, the civil rights and the, and the greater global battle for freedom? Yeah, I, I honestly dare not to compare myself to uh, uh, John Lewis because um, he's been a really a figurehead of the whole movement and he's legendary and, well, from his record, he's been arrested for like 40-something times during his whole resisting, uh, resistant movement and he's been committed to it and he's a enlightening figure to a lot of uh, our generations are read about him. So this is uh, such a, well, honorable uh, 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 figurehead for me. So I, I think it's important that we have someone to learn from. And it's important that um, that spirit could be um, like a momentum force for a lot of younger generations who suit that uh, fight for justice.